Watley Health Services is a private nonprofit community health center. They provide primary health care services to people in West Alabama who lack health insurance and, in many cases, an ability to pay for health care. They're part of the Nonprofit Council of West Alabama. And Dr. Gary Walton is here from Watley Health Services to tell me more about it. Dr. Walton, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us, Mr. Salter. Yes, sir. It's our pleasure. Right now, you guys and, and most other uh, medical professionals around town are focused on flu shots, right? We are indeed. The reason that's important is that um, when CDC keeps statistical data, and they find that from 1976 to 2007, there have been a range of flu deaths mm. associated with not getting the flu shot from 3,000 to 49,000 Wow! on the worst year. The 90% um, of those people were people that passed were people over 65 years of age. So it's important, it's preventable to get the vaccine. And there are just some misconceptions about what the vaccine does, right. what the vaccine doesn't do. And generally speaking, I, that's the yin and yang I have with my patients, trying to get them to see that it's uh, something that's going to benefit them in the long run. It seems like every year we talk about this and we run into the same questions. Mm -hmm. So let's just run through them real quick. Who needs to get a flu shot? Obviously okay. seniors. Anyone from six months of age to over 65. Mm -hmm. That's the CDC recommendation at this current time. Um, anyone with chronic illness, diabetes particularly, immunocompromised people, HIV, people taking long-term steroids, uh, folk with hypertension and other disease processes. It's just very important. It's very simple. Uh, they have different routes of administration. They have a nasal spray now. Mm, that's true. They have an intradermal right under the skin and then the usual just injection that's given in the deltoid. Now, well, the any of these, uh, the nasal spray, uh, the injection, the more traditional one, will this actually make you right. sick? A lot of people N think that. Right, no. Um, the uh, traditional injection has a attenuated, it's been killed, it doesn't have any activity, so it can't cause any disease. Right. The nasal spray does have a, a live, uh, weakened uh, virus, but it too does not cause any significant problems. Those that should absolutely avoid taking the shots are those that have had a serious infection to eggs or egg products. Hmm. Someone who may have had Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a rather severe paralytic illness that you can get, you should avoid it. Or if you have um, allergies to any of the ingredients like thimerosal or something like that. Dr. Walton, thank you so much for being with us today. I appreciate it. You can find out more about Whiteley Health Services and getting a flu shot by calling 205-758-6647 or online at whiteleyhealth.org.